Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're talking about something very unique and very exciting. This is a saxophone that not a lot of people know about and it's called a Buffet Powell. Now, a Buffet you might know from the clarinet companies and the Powell name you might know from flutes. Um, excitingly enough, back in the 30s, they made a saxophone together. And it was actually the patent idea of Ed, uh, Edward Vern Powell, um, who was the son of Vern Q. Powell of the flute company. Uh, he was, you know, an inventor, he was a, a flautist, and in 1933 he sent in a patent application for a saxophone design. Now he'd done a couple of other patents before, usually revolving the octave mechanisms on the neck, um, but this is a later model example of his saxophone. And I found this uh, recently and I have really, really been excited to tell you guys all about it. Um, and it might take a couple videos to do so. However, this is the, the product of a flute design on a saxophone body. And what that means is a couple of things. That means that um, you're gonna have your spatula keys that are gonna look like a flute foot joint and you're gonna have these uh, palm keys or actually knuckle keys as Powell uh, described them in his patent um, all throughout the horn. Now the action on the keys, the way that the, the keys even look, I don't know if you can see this very well, it's very very reminiscent of a flute and it feels just like it too. Um, it's extremely just feather light to the touch. You really don't have to press or squeeze or grab or anything. You just lightly play the horn and it just, it sings. So you might be seeing something interesting about this horn and that is the fact that it has not one but two octave joints on the neck. And uh, that's one and that is two. Um, the saxophone actually has four octave holes in total. And there are a couple other saxophones that experimented with this later down the line, but Edward Powell was the one who did the research himself. Um, the concept between these four octave holes was to kind of account for some discrepancies in the harmonic uh, frequencies when playing just with a single octave key or just a single double mechanism. And, you know, this, this has particular ranges from D through F sharp, and then, you know, you have G sharp through C sharp. It, the way that this moves around, you have a double octave here on the body as well as the two on the neck. So the best thing that I can tell people about this saxophone is that if you play it like a flute, it'll play like a flute. If you try and play like a saxophone, it might not always work out how you want it to. Um, but I'm just gonna play a little bit more for you guys and see what you think. Now, do note the way that I'm holding it across my body and the way that I, you know, putting my hands in position. I'm really trying to keep my fingers as light as possible on this instrument and let it speak for itself. It's a little bit cold, so I'm gonna warm it back up and uh, hope you enjoy. I have never played an alto that speaks in the lower register like this horn. And a lot of it has to do with kind of the, the bore schematics and a lot of other scientific principles, but it's got some really, really rich overtones in the lower sounds. And uh, I can't tell you exactly why, but there's something that really, really speaks to this horn when you start to, you know, 
let the gravity kind of rest it in place and, and, and play it from a natural position. Um, the upper register is definitely a little bit more tricky to control because you have so many different um, passageways for the air to escape. Once you start playing in, in the higher notes, you have, you know, two octave holes, then one, and then one, and then two, and there's a lot of things that are happening for the, the, the intonation especially. And since I'm not primarily an alto player, I'm not gonna jump very high up there. But what I do like to tell people is that one of the biggest and fun things about the saxophone is that you will find, I'm gonna show you this octave key on the back of my hand, that you're actually gonna play with your thumb, with your thumb sideways. Um, it, it's gonna feel different at first, and you know, rather than today's motion where we kind of do this with our thumb, you're really gonna be sliding your thumb back and forth like you'd be playing on the, on the, on the flute, moving from B and B flat. Um, so this is, you know, it's both a flute and a saxophone, and I, I think it's just really, really cool. I'm gonna play some more. introduction on the Buffet Powell. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have more questions about this horn please ask. I'm very excited to do a couple more videos about this instrument specifically um, over the coming weeks and months and as always thanks for being here and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you don't mind. It's always great to have more people join the ride and I will see you guys soon. Take care and I'll play you guys out. <laughs>